Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another CSGO news episode. And yes, a double upload. The only thing I like more than double uploads in terms of CSGO content is being right about our predictions. If you guys were here last week, we talked about the potential G2 roster changes, and those have come just as a few hours ago. I will, of course, link their post down below for all of you. Their roster will now be minus body and plus Amanek. If you guys don't know the history of this player, I think it's actually very hard to argue this is not going to be an improvement for this roster in terms of firepower. Plus, not only because of the history of Amanek, his time with Misfits, as well as LDLC. If you guys remember, LDLC used to be the best French team just a solid few months ago. It was Amanek who first left the roster, and we knew he was taking a break from CSGO. He would be back probably with a pretty notable French project, and this time around, it will be G2. I would say, on paper, given his historical precedence over the past six months alone, this is an automatic improvement for this roster, and I'm glad they're making it. Body is one of those characters out there. Yes, has a very high ceiling cap, but you can only say players have potential for so long before they need to show you that true potential and I don't think he certainly has with this roster currently I wish him the best of luck in the future and I'm excited for this change and remember when they first got rid of Smith's in existence people thought that body would be the player not existence you know and I, I guess I do say on paper Amonek should be an improvement while on paper we thought existence would be the perfect IGL for the team and we see how that worked out I'm just very very complacent right now where the future of G2's roster will go I think this move though is going to be an improvement and I'm excited to see how they play it out which should be at WESG in four days time. So we'll talk about WESG in a second because that event is going down in shambles um, over just the past few days alone. But along with that, this just has not been a roster I've been impressed by in late 2018 or early 2019 ever since they first added Jax and Lucky to the roster. I think we're going to be small improvements, but we have yet to see enough time with this roster, right? It's, it's tough to actually make those changes a few months later, be thrust into a major. And then of course, just slightly after the major, you make another roster change. This is going to be a slow formation for this team. So I do have hope for them as well to be, of course, now it's just head to head with Vitality and G2 to be the best French team out there. I think an improvement, you guys can leave your thoughts down below. But speaking of a video out there for CSGO, one of the funniest videos I have seen in forever. If you guys have not watched this, please do me a favor. It'll be linked down below for all of you. As many of you guys know, it was most of Astralis who was very sick during the major. Ironically enough, they'd actually teamed up and saw the doctor, that being Dr. Disrespect, to learn CSGO trash talking. I'm going to show you guys two clips, my, my favorite clips of the entire video but the full thing i highly encourage you guys to watch will be linked down below you're probably wondering how does the doc do it how do you become the two-time actually last year we won a lot the answer is you can't you're too scared no we're not i am a bit jesus where'd you come from i've been here the whole time it's an easy 2v1 situation until magisk shoots you in the head and loses the round. Snap him. I mean, he wasn't even good enough to know. Well, wrong with you. And speaking of G2, their first roster appearance should maybe be at WESG this weekend. At the point of me recording this, they have not backed out of WESG yet, but team after team after team are actually pulling out of the event. This is an event, if you guys do not know, historically speaking, it's a pretty good cash grab for some good teams out there because um, of the overall pool out there of teams. There's a lot of lackluster teams, some teams you probably haven't heard of playing the event, so a lot of top teams can go here. It's nearly $900,000 in prize pool. A lot like PLG at the back half of 2018, Fnatic went there. A lot of lackluster teams, some Chinese teams, they're very much the favorite towards, and the Fnatic win that, and they win a pretty substantial prize pool as well. WSG is just pretty much the same event on a much larger scale. More teams, pretty big prize pool, um, but they do so, you know, the, the seeding format, the overall event format, uh, so far, some teams do not like it, and uh, this year alone, some teams are pulling out seemingly because, well, there's been a variety of reasons, you know, boot camps, family issues, roster changes, or the fact they just don't want to go to the event. Either way, it depends on the team. I mean, we had the likes of Ents. They actually had particularly probably one of the harder groups. I don't really blame Ents so far, but in their Twitter post, people thought it was because they had a harder group because they gave a lot of reasons as to why to miss an event, right? They didn't just give one. I think they gave two or three family issues, visa issues, um, and despite, I think, maybe boot camping for other events out there. They gave a lot of reasons. I do not blame Ents whatsoever. It's going to be a best of two round robin format, pretty RNG, um, if you do ask me, and some definite underdog teams will probably slip through the format. So for Ents to back out, not big of a deal. NIP 
he actually backed out this morning. And then we have Isteris and K23, who pretty much just gifted AGO and MIBR. Well, they did gift them a playoff spot. Yeah, imagine getting placed in a group with AGO, the best Polish team, MIBR, the best Brazilian team, and you're not going to travel all the way to China for a potentially no cut check. I don't blame those two teams whatsoever. And then we have MVP PK. They backed out because they're making roster changes. So far, you know, 10 to 20% of the field, they're just not going to show up to the event. It's breaking through at the seams. Either way, though, teams like G2, teams like MIBR, AGO, uh, Movistar Riders, a lot of good teams, Windigo, they have now a great chance to actually cut a good check here. And I'm excited to see what teams actually commit and do travel. And uh, given the, the fact all this stuff has happened, we could see some pretty big upsets. MIBR is now the, well, they actually already were, but they are now the far fetched favorite above the likes of NIP and ENTS who have already backed out. I'm excited to watch the event itself, see how it rolls out. Um, but I don't blame too many teams out there for not going to the event, but so far we are seeing WESG fall apart at the seams. And very lastly, a CSGO update did drop last night. It's not the AUG nerf. I'm really glad you guys liked my AUG video. I kind of went back and factually researched all the maps uh, towards the major, all the maps after the update as well. I compared how much the AUG has changed the game and the CT side of the game in itself, and it was pretty drastic findings as well. They did not nerf the AUG. This was actually probably one of the better times to do so. With WESG coming up, that's the only big event, and a lot of top tier teams were not there. So I felt like if they dropped the AUG nerf in this update, there would not be too much backlash as of to the timing because there's no major event with a lot of top tier teams there. Yes, some lower tier teams would probably complain, but that's probably not all of Valve's issues. They decided to keep the AUG the same price, the same everything, and it has not been nerfed quite yet. So I'm excited to see for the future what will happen. Will they buff the M4s? Will they nerf the AUG price? Will they nerf the AUG in general? I'm excited to see where this game does go, but there was some big updates out there as well for streamers and personalities and YouTube video makers as well who actually record in game. Two big updates, the first of which you can actually change your enemy or your opponent's names to more neutral names. So if your enemy changed their name to something inappropriate, you can now change that as well as you can actually censor out and hide avatar images. Thank you, Valve. You know, I don't really don't stream too much, but it was actually Cold Zero a couple months ago. He literally posted to Twitter, this guy was about to quit streaming CSGO because his opponents would find out he was streaming. They would change their avatar images and try to get him banned on Twitch by their TOS if they see inappropriate images. And many of you guys know for Steam images, you can have some pretty lewd content on there. They would change their avatar images trying to get him banned and that's why he was going to quit So cold zero can now stream again and hide those avatar images and change the enemy names And then very lastly as well This brand new command has been came up with uh, by valve and I think so far a great update now Overall, I think the general gist of this so far I will link a great video down below by banana gaming for more detail and I suggest all of you guys wait for three clicks fill video um, I think he's gonna give a lot more detail and open insight as to exactly what this command will do so far We have seen if you use this command and have lower end PCs or lower end laptops. It actually reduces CPU usage for CSGO drastically. Some people saying up to 40%. So that does mean lower end tech out there can now actually run CSGO, an absolutely insane update. Also news out there, apparently alt tabbing in and out of CSGO is a flawless, smooth transition. As of before, it actually caused you know lagging and choppiness and so on and so forth. So far, a very small update, but also a very great update by Valve. And uh, surprisingly enough, no weapon balancing. But as always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy if you guys have you know have any video ideas for me you know always leave a comment down below i've been loving responding to you guys all week you guys have been leaving so many comments it's, it's actually kind of hard to keep up but either way thank you all for watching guys my name is jake if i don't see you tomorrow hope you all have a great weekend and i'll see you back here for monday csgo news where we break down wesg we'll see how that goes but as always take care of yourselves and until next time bye